Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I'm finally filming a clean with me. It's been a hot minute since I've been on YouTube, but life's been really busy. Um, it's a rainy day, so I figured it's the perfect excuse to get this done. We're officially moved into the new house. A lot of the rooms are empty, so I'm just gonna be cleaning the master bedroom, the master bath, the kitchen, the living room, hallway, laundry room, and a couple other nooks and crannies. But it is a new house and I need a lot of suggestions on cleaning products for like the bathroom, the trim, the windows, stuff that you guys like to use that helps. Leave them in the comments below. I'm definitely gonna check those out. But anyways, I hope this video motivates you to get up and clean. Please leave a comment, like, and subscribe if you wanna see more. Let's start cleaning. So something that helps me clean the house a little bit better is I have a carrying kit with all my cleaning supplies. I have a little portable vacuum cleaner, a mop, and I always carry around a garbage bag to pick up as I go. And before I start cleaning, I always start with laundry. That way at the end of it all, I can fold and put it away and that be the grand finale. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the color started. These are already done, I just have to fold. I know that pile's hideous. And then over here are the whites, and we'll start with this one. I love the Lavender 7th Generation detergent. It's what I always use, and you don't really need as much as it tells you. I'm gonna go into this handy dandy thing right here and I'm gonna pull out one of my paper towels. If you don't wanna use paper towels, that's fine, but don't be a paper towel shamer. And what I'm going to do is grab a, there it is, an all-purpose spray. And I'm gonna go ahead and wipe down the, the, um, the trim. So when we moved into the house, they still didn't really do a good job cleaning the trim. It still has like sawdust, um, sanding from the paint. So I'm just gonna give it a light wipe down to maintain this because that's my biggest fear, a dirty trim getting overwhelmed. But here I go. We've lived in this house for a month and it's that filthy. That is not because of us, that is because of the builders, but that's the stuff you breathe in and it's good to get it off the trim. You can't see it if you're just walking into a room, but when you wipe it up, that's gross.
now that the bedroom is nice and clean, we will head into the master bathroom. We always keep Grumple's bed right here. It's where he likes to sleep. He'll bounce back between rug, bed, and his bed. So cute. into the master bathroom, which is a complete disaster. Covered in stuff on the countertops, dirty towels, nasty grime. All right, let's see if we can match it up to the master bedroom. Okay, so first we are going to start with the Method Glass Cleaner. And I'm going to give this huge mirror a nice cleaning. is squeaky clean. I'm going to use the all-purpose spray on the faucet and in the sink. I have to admit that Kyle keeps his side of the sink a lot cleaner than I do. I'm gonna go grab the stuff to show you guys a really cool hack to get stains out of quartz or pretty much anything. Okay, so as you can see, there's a little bit of a rust stain that won't come out with like an all-purpose spray. So I'm gonna show you a little trick that gets stains out of pretty much anything. You have to be really careful because we're dealing with bleach. Um, we had a petunia that was stuck in my hair and I guess it fell into the shower and it stained our bottom blue and this actually worked to get it out. So what I'm going to do is put a little bit of baking soda over the spots and then what you're going to do, and you just got to be careful, is you're going to add a little bit of bleach, a little bit of bleach, a little bit of bleach, kind of like pat it a little. I'm gonna pat it, rub it in place. Scrub it. Don't breathe it in. And that just got the entire rust stain out of the quartz. Pretty awesome life hack. Thank you, Google, for teaching me how to get petunia dye out of my shower. <laughs> I'll show you something else. Don't be alarmed. But this is actually a stain from our city water. Um, I had no idea that city water can turn the edges of your toilets red. So I'm actually going to pour a little bit of baking soda on the sides, pour some bleach in there, and let it sit for a while. This is all you need to save a lot of money on stains. So right now we have baking soda and bleach sitting in there and check that out. That stain that wouldn't come off with a towel is actually completely gone. Incredible, right? Well, I'm gonna let it sit there for about a minute more and then flush it down. I'm just like, what?
now it is time to clean the nasty soap scum. <laughs> I love that word, I don't know why. Um, the nasty scum off of the bathroom shower. It is really hard to keep these glass um, showers clean. Even though we have a squeegee and wipe it down a lot, it's just, it's a lot of maintenance. I don't know if I would do it again, but it does look nice. So anyways, let's get started on cleaning. Above the center of attention, but I'm not. I wish I didn't have to give in to the pressure. Uh oh. Mm. I'm posting pictures, trying to be someone I'm not. It feels just like I'm lying to you. I fake it, stage it, trying to live some perfect life. I know I'm wasting time. Cause I just wanna call my friends and see what they're doing tonight It doesn't have to be so special I try to be myself, you do the same and we'll be alright finish off the room with this amazing linen spray I think I found this at TJ Maxx a long time ago I also have the um, orange citrus one it smells so good it's made with essential oils so I just do a little spray here just spray here and up in the air it smells like a hotel everything is fresh okay here's how I clean the bottom I just give it a good spray all over I know that's like excessive, but I let it sit for a little bit and then I will turn on the water. 
Okay, it's been 20 minutes and I've had this cleaning solution sitting on the tile. It's a green solution. My bathroom is not that dirty, it's not that green. So then what I do is I just turn on the water. And let it go. Oh, the satisfaction of cleanliness. And then I'll jump up here and I'll just move the shower head to get it. Okay, before I leave my bedroom, I'm going to hang up the clothes pile that I have right here. You guys do realize I just made the bed. I just made the bed, Nini. What did you do? What did you guys do? What the heck? What did you do to my room? Really? Lucky, you're cute. Bathroom is completely done. Literally sparkling.
Are you hiding, Lee? Here's another one of the guest rooms. We're not done at all with it, but it's clean. I am not gonna clean it unless we have a guest coming. We have some things to put up on the wall. Down the line. 